This is a Hoover Commercial Upright from the 2000s. These are Hoover Commercial Uprights from the 60s and 70s. And these are Hoover Commercial Uprights from the 1930s. So before the 91, 913, 918 series, the armored Hoovers, they did introduce uh, beefed up versions of their residential machines. Now going back even further to the 1920s and 10s, they made big versions, not, not just beefed up like thick and metal, but just oversized. Like instead of whatever this is, 12 inches wide, you could get a Hoover Senior that was like 15 inches wide or um, the Hoover 972 sold alongside the 700 that was just like a 700 on steroids. But these two came sometime after those. So the 972 would have been replaced by the 900 shown here, and this was sold alongside the 750. This is the residential standard Hoover sold in the early 30s, and this was their commercial equivalent. So the 900 was then replaced by the 925 when the 750 became replaced by the 800. So here's your residential model 800. And here's the 925 from the mid-1930s. Now, I think this is one of the most beautiful things that Hoover ever made. The way these wings on the sides of the badge complement the rays on the headlight just make this a gorgeous piece of engineering. And it's before Hoover started really making the things bulbous and industrial design and, and uh, you know, making machines that look more like these back here. So it's still kind of primitive in that regard but just uh just gorgeous and they took their residential machine and they reinforced some critical points on it so like starting on the 900 here you can see compared to the 750 where the height adjuster is off to the side and the rear wheels have this l-shaped bracket they took the 900 and they put the height adjuster in the middle of those wheels, giving it a more centered load distribution so that that bracket couldn't get torqued and bent as easily. Uh, that did have the drawback of making the shaft for this go directly through the center of the fan housing, so sometimes you could get debris hanging up on that. One other thing they did was instead of the one side handle release, and you can see this fork has nothing on the other side, this is the cam that would, you know, let you lower the handle, but it would keep it upright. On the 900, they put one on one side, one on the other side. If you look here, you can see this is just an aluminum casting. On this one, they beefed it up with a plate of steel on the sides and they also put a steel plate inside the fan chamber and you can see the little rivet here will show you that this is an original 900 fan or well the base housing obviously you can see the the wings but this rivet is what holds the fan chamber liner it's steel with rubber underneath that and that was to resist the sandblast action from eating through this casting turning over First of all, these wheels are ball bearing with tires and that just resisted the wheels wearing down on the shaft as the residential ones could after some time. And another interesting thing about this machine, you can see underneath at first glance they're very very similar. Many of the parts are interchangeable. But the 900 and the early 925s had a clutched belt pulley. so. This is the fan and the pulley, but you can see this is moving a bit. Now when the vacuum is running, it drives the belt just like a solid shaft pulley. But if you stall the agitator on this machine, it disengages and then the motor just runs and runs and the pulley uh, releases. I've done that a couple of times. I try not to do it because who knows how long it's going to be until this lets go and doesn't work anymore but uh, the clutched pulley was designed to save the belt in applications where things were getting caught on a frequent basis. 
So that's the 900. When Hoover went to the 925, they obviously introduced the 800 style headlight cap. They also advertised this vacuum as having a radio interference eliminator and it showed a picture of the maid vacuuming in front of the guy listening to the radio big console radio behind him in the ad uh, the radio interference eliminator is just a couple of capacitors like Electrolux used to put on their motors and many other brands and they're under here so this is a 925 motor and you can see that as opposed to the 800 motor which looks like that. Aside from that, uh, oh, so on the 725 and the 800, you take the bag off by loosening the thumb screws, which will be familiar to a Hoover person. On the 900, they gave you these little cam locks that you just open up and that lets you take the bag off. On one side, that has been replaced by just a thumb screw, so something happened to that one. I have a couple other versions of 925s that I wanted to include in this video. So this is a late 925, and it does not have that clutched belt pulley. It does have the aroma door, which the 800 had. And that was, of course, Hoover's um, scent dispenser. But the aroma door on the 925 does not have an on-off knob, because that was just one more thing to get knocked off the machine or broken. Uh, this is a solid pulley. There is no clutch on it. And this 925 is serial number 918449. I'm going to show you an earlier 925. This one is missing its bag, and I've got to redo the bag spring that comes down. So this has the ball bearing wheels. This one, incidentally, does not. This has just solid wheels. And this one is serial number 910466. So they only made like 9,000 of these things. So this is one of the last, the latest, and this is one of the earliest. And on this one, you can see this belt pulley as found didn't actually have a pulley on it. It just had this part and you can see some little springs and things on the inside. Well, I've added this little pulley section along with some washers and spacers uh, to make it drive the belt but the clutch isn't functional anymore, but this does have the clutch. And if you look, you can see the difference. This is the revised single piece style, and that's the earlier clutch style like the 900 has. And obviously this one does have a later agitator in it. This agitator will be off of like a, like a 913 or something. So uh, one last version of a 925 is this thing and this is a 925 obviously you can see the wings it says previous model reconstructed at the Hoover factory and uh, I don't tend to like the Hoover special models as much just because I like original um, this one the bumper has been replaced the castings got a big crack in it and the motor is not a 925 motor you can see if you're looking for the radio interference eliminator it's not here meaning that this is just an 800 motor. And this also has an 800 bale on it, or a 750, doesn't have to be an 800, because it only has the release on one side. So this is a little bit of a Franken Hoover, but it is still, or it started its life out as an early 925 machine and has the original type agitator. So... I'm going to plug one of these in. Of course, by now, if you've found this video, I'm sure you're very familiar with what an old Hoover sounds like, but...
This is an original 90 year old cord and an original Hoover plug on this 900. And this machine has been climate controlled and protected its whole life because this cord is as supple as it was when it was brand new. And that to me is pretty cool. And there is the two speed switch. And you know what? Just to get it on camera, I will demonstrate the clutch. Here goes nothing. So I've stalled the roller, it stopped, and now as I turn the vacuum off, it re-engaged. So there you have it. Thanks for watching.